anger at celebrities ignoring COVID-19 restrictions by Learn With News, Level 3. People around the world have been struggling with the ramifications of the COVID-19 pandemic. Life for most people has changed in some way. From working at home to not being able to meet friends and family, the past year has been difficult in a number of ways. Now, attention in multiple countries is turning to the way the rich and famous have been handling the restrictions. Reports have become increasingly frequent of celebrities, politicians, and the wealthiest in society flouting COVID-19 restrictions, even as regular people are unable to leave their houses. In France, it was recently revealed through undercover journalists that the rich and powerful of Paris had been going to underground restaurants. These restaurants are hidden away in Paris and cost hundreds of euros per person. Meanwhile, restaurants and businesses across France have been closed down under government orders for months. In one video, a waiter can be heard saying that once people enter the restaurant, there's no more COVID, and that people in the restaurant don't wear masks. In another video, a woman is heard saying that she had dined at two or three restaurants that week and that some government ministers were in attendance. The videos sparked anger across France, with people claiming that there are different rules for regular people and wealthy people. French people are angry that while regular people are suffering through the latest lockdown, nothing appears to be different for the more powerful members of society. The restaurant videos went viral across social media in France, with people using the hashtag, we want the names, while demanding that the offenders be punished. Across the border in Belgium, there has also been widespread anger at the actor Brad Pitt. Pitt flew into Belgium by private jet at the end of March to support his friend's art exhibition, which opens on April 22nd. However, all non-essential travel is banned in Belgium, and people were quick to criticize what they perceived as being a non-essential trip. Anyone arriving in Belgium currently has to sign a document stating that their trip is for purely essential business reasons. This led to people questioning how and why he was even able to get into the country. While in Belgium, Pitt was also given a private tour of an art museum that is closed to the public due to COVID-19 restrictions. Like in France, this generated claims that there are different rules for rich during the pandemic. The disconnect between regular people and celebrities is starkest in Australia, where many celebrities have been living throughout the pandemic. A long list of celebrities have been in Australia, with some Australians giving the country the nickname Aussiewood, after Hollywood. Celebrities have been attracted to Australia because of the relative lack of COVID-19 cases in the country. This is due in part to the incredibly strict restrictions that Australia has put on people entering the country. The Australian government implemented a limit on travel into the country by putting a cap on the number of passengers that planes can carry. Consequently, planes that would normally carry 200 to 300 people can now only carry a maximum of 40 people. Although the measures are designed to limit the risk of coronavirus outbreaks stemming from international travel, it has had the unfortunate side effect of pricing out regular people. Due to the limits, airlines have started to prioritize business and first-class customers over the cheaper economy seats. Flights from Europe to Australia can now cost between 3,000 Australian dollars and 15,000 Australian dollars. That also doesn't include the cost of the mandatory quarantine upon arrival in Australia. The hotel quarantine fee is 3,000 Australian dollars per person. It is estimated that at least 40,000 Australians are still stranded in other countries because they cannot get back home. Even if they can afford the high flight and quarantine fees, it isn't easy to get onto a flight because of the overwhelming demand. 
Although the strict limits in the desperate pandemic situation are understandable, it is how the Australian government is treating the rich and famous that is generating criticism. The government has been accused of having more flexible rules for prominent people. The government allowed 1,700 tennis players and officials into the country in January for the Australian Open, just days after halving the number of people that were allowed to enter the country. This caused outrage amongst the many Australians who are still stranded abroad and their families back home. Another issue has been with the quarantines. While regular people are paying the 3000 Australian dollar mandatory payment for a hotel room quarantine, celebrities have been allowed by the government to quarantine themselves in private mansions. The lack of support from the government for regular people trying to get back home has led to accusations that the government has a two-tier system for handling arrivals into the country. Many people are tired of the pandemic restrictions after a year of lockdowns, not seeing family and friends, and not leaving their homes. Celebrities casually flouting the rules are an easy target for the ire of people stuck at home for over a year. The injustice of feeling like there is one rule for normal people and another for wealthy people is especially pervasive during this trying time.